In today's video, we're checking out the Mega Variety crate. It's quite a, quite a cool crate. It's got three epic gun skins for the M13, the MSMC, and the Razorback, and uh, three epic characters as well. All of them are quite nice, um, apart from maybe the Razorback skin is a bit a bit boring one. But yeah, all of them are really overall are really nice skins, so it's highly worth check, check, checking it out. Um, and yeah, as I I um, of course bought it, and uh, yeah, so yeah. If you do go on to join the video, make sure to of course like and subscribe. And if you want the uh, the loadout of all the guns mentioned, uh, the MSMC Razorback and M13, then make sure to of course stay tuned channel for that. Let's get into the video. The next loadout goes to T and Spear. They have 1.92 sec cases guys at the time of recording this video. And yeah, they do mainly multiplayer raids content. So if you um, not only really multiplayer but around raids content, so yeah, if you do go over and join their videos, then make sure to of course like the video you enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the channel in general. Of course, I've linked down below in the description and up on the screen here make sure to go over be supportive but leave any supportive comments on what, what they do what, what you enjoy about the videos and be supportive about what the uh, about about the uh about what they can improve about their videos so make sure to go over be positive be supportive and let's get into the video Okay, so here we are in the train mode. As you can see, the first gun we're looking at is the MSMC. Actually, let's, let's check out the pistol skin first. Uh, the pistol skin is the same for every single one of them. Uh, that's an alright pistol skin. It's a nice green one. I kind of go to this set. This set of skins first. So, um, that's a bit of an interesting one. Uh, so it's, it's somewhat colourful, but that's about the only thing that's going for it. The, uh, the animation isn't, isn't too cool. Yeah, it gets a 4 out of 10. So yeah, now we have the, uh, the uh, let's go character skin first. Now, the character skin's not one of my favourites. It's very bright and kind of bulky, so quite easy to see. Alright, it's quite an OG one. Uh, so you, maybe that might, you might want to take that into account. So yeah, 
So right, anyway, of course you saw the backpack there, it's got a nice, uh, a nice green backpack as well, goes very well with this skin. Okay, so yeah, uh, we have of course then the MSMC, I think it's Ooze. It's an alright skin, again, quite an OG skin. Um, so yeah. It's quite a high, bright, bright and colourful skin. I, I'm sure maybe my gun is more bright and colourful than my character skins. And just because the character skins will make you stand out quite a lot. I guess this is quite a green set. If you, if you do like the colour green, then you are, this is for you. There's a bit, there's a bit of slight of animation on it, but nothing too, um, too uh, significant on it. I uh, see. So yeah, overall, overall, I want to give it a uh, 6.5 out of 10. Now, in terms of the MSMC, it's a very aggressive weapon, I would say. Uh, super fun to use. Would I uh, check it out? I did get a buff this recent season, it made it a lot, a, lot, a lot better to use. I can't remember what exactly what the buff was, but it made it significantly better uh, if you're going to be using it as an aggressive uh, SMG. It kind of, it's kind of nostalgic for me, as the um, MSMC used to be good back in uh, good old season 1, and it was actually the gun I. Uh, I used to use because, of course, I was more of an aggressive SMG player, even back then. So yeah, definitely, but definitely a really fun one to use. Um, I'm going to check it out if you want an off-metal option that's still very high, highly vi vi viable. Yeah. Let's quick check out the uh, the. The recoil is so a recoil, it's quite high recoil unfortunately. Uh, so you don't have too much range of this, although the damage and damage range isn't the best anyway. So yeah. Then we have the that's uh, 23, 26, 31. As long as, as long as you don't hit a leg shot, it's a guaranteed three shot. Oh yeah, I think you can hit a minimum of two leg shots for it to be a guaranteed four shot. So even here it drops off pretty significantly and you can we can't even get a guaranteed uh, four shot anymore unless you're up body and head shots. And then finally uh, well, it actually doesn't drop too much but again the high recoil makes it difficult to use at this range. Uh, so yeah now let's go get into the of course the next gun skin. Okay so here we are with the next gun that of course being the M13. Now this one's a bit more of a subtle gun. It's a bit more of a. It's actually quite a nice one. It's called the Space Get M13. I did slide the red dot on this M13 build. Just in case people do want to get my red dot M13 build. But yeah, overall, it's a super nice, a super nice gun. Uh, yeah, really, really nice. Overall, I want to give it a, uh, a 7 out of 10. Not so much animation, but like, the actual colours and so on are really, really nice. So it's definitely one worth checking out. Then, of course, we have... Oh, change. Not what I want to do. We have the same um, the same pistol, but here is the character skin. A bit more of a darker, darker themed one. I like it. It's, a, it's going to get a 5 out of 10 from me. A bit bland, but hey-ho. So, yeah. Overall, the... Uh, yeah. So, uh, the M13 is actually quite a fun one to use. Uh, it's a quite a forgiving one because it does have that higher fire rate, which makes it a lot more consistently, um, more, lot, lot more uh, consistent time to kill even if you do miss, miss a couple of shots. And even though it does have a high, a high, a high fire rate, the, uh, the recoil is very manageable. So, yeah, definitely a good beginner's option, I would say, with decent damage as well. The one downside is some people might not like the other side, so that's why I'm using a red dot with this build. Overall, I had a lot of fun with this, with this weapon. Although this uh, this build is a slightly lower 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 mobility build, so it's a bit more of a passive build. But yeah. So here is the recoil. And you see, it doesn't have too much kick for a high fire weapon. So yeah, definitely a really fun one 
that's two, two, two reasons for medium to long range, I would say. And in terms of the damages, so he has 24 and 26. 36, so, so it's a guaranteed long hit one headshot, it's a guaranteed uh, four shot, which is a compensate, but which the high fire rate right, compensates for, I would say. Although it has very similar damage, it actually has worse damage up close than the, um, than the MSMC, surprisingly enough. Yeah, so that's the damage Drop off at all. That's highly consistent now, his numbers, I think. So, you have to be, if you do it as long as you hit, you, you have to be as accurate. So, it drops off quite significantly after that, but still, a medium to long range gun, I would say, more because it has a slight lacking base damage. But yeah, super fun to use. I would highly recommend checking it out. It's actually quite an easy one to use as well. So, yeah, definitely one that's highly worth checking out. So, yeah, now it's going to be, of course, the final gun. Caption combination. Okay, so here we are, we have the final combination. This is arguably the worst combination, I would say. Uh, it's got a Razorback skin, and uh, the character is not very good either, to be honest, unless you like a realistic, more, more realistic character skin. It's a bit more of a Yeah, definitely not one of my favourites. It's definitely more of a um, definitely more of a realist one for someone who likes a realistic kind of skin. I see, I'm going to get a three out of ten. And then here is, of course, the uh, the gun skin. Uh, kind of boring, honestly. Uh, not, not nothing too special. I don't even know why this is an epic. This can very much be rare, and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Yeah, uh, six out, uh, three out of ten again. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, but, but this is probably the worst two out of the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, definitely one that I uh, wouldn't recommend get plugging for. And now it turns the razor back. I actually had a lot of fun with it. Of course, with the uh, the rapid fire perk, it makes it a great aggressive option. And uh, yeah, it kind of really surprised me how and how fun it was to use. Um, yeah. I think it has decent decent damage. Um, of course, the fire rate is a bit like last, so that's why I use the rapid fire part. Um, but yeah, overall, super fun gun to use. It's a bit more of a burst car SMG, so it's a bit, bit more of a close to medium range weapon. And uh, yeah, super fun to use though. So here is the recoil. I can see pretty simple, easy to control recoil, nothing's too special. Then in terms of damage numbers, we have 29, 33, so it's a 3 shot, guaranteed 3 shot, as long as you get upper body and headshots. Or body, as long as you have any legs, it's a guaranteed 3 shot, which is actually kind of nuts considering, uh, considering the, uh, the damage on the M13. Although, like I said, it, like I said, it does have slow fire rate, so uh, it does compensate for that. So it already drops off quite significantly. They said they guaranteed 4 shot at the medium range. Now I'm going to say that some people might want to use red dots that you can't have to be done at the right side, but I didn't find it too bad to use in ranked, so yeah. And goes down to 18. Still, still, still hitting in the high 20s when you hit that body, surprisingly enough. So it is highly, highly versatile, I would say. And I actually had, had a lot of fun using it, so yeah, definitely one worth checking out. Overall, my favourite. Uh, Gun skin was even was actually actually uh, I was really the MSMC one because it was on the on the rest of the SMG and it's quite um, a rare one, not a rare but like a um, an OG one. And in terms of the character skins, it's probably the middle one, the a battery skin. But yeah, overall, it's a super cool crate. Would highly re recommend checking it out. And all the guns super fun. So yeah, now it's going to of course the ranked gameplays.
with enemy. Kaita is the first loader I was using, that being the MSMC. Uh, so yeah, it's a damage range uh, and an accuracy range control build just to maximize the versatility of the MSMC because it has decent um, decent mobility so we don't need to really increase mobility at all. So yeah, we have the monolithic, monolithic suppressor for the science ability and plus 25% damage at range. We have the IWC Markson barrel for the minus 5.6% ADS bullet spread, plus 30% damage at range, minus 9.6% horizontal recoil and minus 15% vertical recoil. We have the no stop for the minus 50 minus 13% ADS time plus 3% movement speed and plus 7% ADS movement speed. We have the granulated grip tape for the minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. And finally, 40 yard extended mag for the plus 15 mag capacity. Okay, so then here is the uh, second uh, second loadout inventory. Uh, it's cross off the, for the uh, the M13. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a different build to what I normally use. It's a red dot build. If you do not want the red dot, then you can just use the OWC tack laser instead of the red dot. But this is the one I went with. So we have the um, the minus uh, the uh, RTC heavy long barrel for the minus 7.8 percent ADS bullet spread. Plus 35% damage at range, minus 6% horizontal recoil, and minus 14.7% vertical recoil. We have the classic red dot for the zoom and change out the iron sight to make it a lot more visible and easier to use. We have the no stock, the minus 14% ADS time, plus 3% movement speed, and plus 20% ADS movement speed. We have the grand laser grip tape with minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. And finally, we have the 0.33 RTC double stack, 40 round mag for the plus. plus 20% damage at range to the science ability increase plus 10 mag capacity and minus 20% reload time. So yeah. And then of course finally we have the Razorback loadout. This is an accuracy range fire rate build. Of course we're having a fire increase in the fire rate, which I would find very useful, especially if you are using a if especially if you are an aggressive player like I am. So yeah, we have the monolithic suppressor for the science ability and plus 25% damage at range. We have the MIP extended light barrel for the minus 5.6% ADS bullet spread, plus 20% damage at range and minus 13.1% horizontal recoil. We have the rapid fire perk for the minus 10% fire interval. We have the granulated grip tape for the minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. And finally, the extended mag A for the plus 12 mag capacity. Yeah.